Hello, brother teacher here. The dollar store mentality is what I want to touch on right now. And that is the fact that so many of us have been spoiled by the idea that everything should cost a dollar or even cheaper. Just cheap merchandise. Uh, I remember years ago when the 99 cent stores came into existence and then uh, this big craze of uh, all of these, uh, I guess you can call it a pop culture or a fad, if you will, the 99 centers, and then you had the dollar stores and the dollar trees and so on and so forth. But the thing with the dollar trees and the family dollar stores is that everything is not a dollar. But I'm speaking more specifically on the stores that says uh, everything is one dollar. Nothing's over one dollar. This type of mindset. We have made people go crazy with this dollar store mentality. Of course, they have made millions off of the consumers. But understand this. What do you think you're getting for a dollar? Is it real value? It depends on how you look at it. A lot of the products that you're looking at. The vast majority of them come from China. Most of them are cheaply made. There are some value uh, in, in the items that they sell, but not everything. Uh, and it takes a trained eye, a trained consumer even, to be able to recognize uh, what's going on in the store once you walk in. You know, and your food, you're deceived by uh, the flair, the color, you know, the organization and all of the tapestry that they have in the store when you go in and you see, oh, we have this, the signage and so forth. We have this on sale and buy two of these for a dollar and we're we're never going to sell anything over a dollar. All of these types of slogans and so forth. But understand this, you can't be receiving that much value for one dollar. But if that's the mindset that you want to maintain, it's really your personal business. And the same is true, even though it's changed some since. But um, restaurants even had dollar menus. McDonald's had ones. Rally had one. Wendy's had a dollar menu. Kentucky Fried Chicken had a, uh, or KFC if you want to call it that, had a dollar menu. Various types of fast food restaurants had dollar menus. And a lot of them have kind of strayed away from the dollar menu and are uh, attempt to get back to the norm again because people went crazy with the dollar menu. They didn't want to buy the regular priced items so they would always or for the most part most of the time come into the restaurants seeking those things that were cheaper. Now mind you fast food restaurant is junk food in the first place. There's no value in it. It's just a quick something to put in your mouth or your stomach and say, you know, I've had something on my road trip, on my way to work, or on my way back home, or just for lunch from where, wherever you want to go. It's just a convenience. And they have marketed so well over the past three or four decades that they have it down to a science. They know what people want. You see a colorful sign, you smell food driving down the roadway, you pull in. And of course, they have already set you up with the commercials and the advertisements and the magazines and the radio and so forth. They know how human beings think. They have scientists and they have psychologists that they've hired to understand human behavior. So uh, when you're going down the street and you see a McDonald's arch or you see a White Castle, what's the first thing you're going to do? Pull over. And they know this. OK, they've learned human nature well and they have it down to a science as i said now does that mean that there's value in the meal no there is no nutritional uh, abundance or cornucopia when you walk into a, a white castle or into a wendy's restaurant or even into a, a kfc they put so much in the way of preservatives and byproducts and uh, other chemicals in uh, our foods that we're not aware of and sometimes we really are well aware but we just slough it off and say it's something to eat it tastes good but is it good for you anyway uh, I didn't mean to leave the major crux of this uh, conversation the the subject matter is really the dollar mentality every now and then I like to get out and go and sit down and be served at a nice restaurant
I have no problems, no qualms with spending 40, 50 or 60 dollars for me and my companion, my wife. I have no problem and my family in general, I have no problem spending that money. But you have some people who just can't do it. But you have people who will go out and they will blow a thousand dollars on the newest uh, pair of Jordans and cell phones and Gucci bags and things of this sort. Do you get what I'm saying? So the dollar mentality, uh, it has messed a lot of people up in the mind. They would rather spend five dollars on something that's not healthy for them, uh, as opposed to going to a grocery store, for example. They will spend five dollars at a restaurant, fast food restaurant, something that's going to be consumed in 20 or 30 minutes, as opposed to taking that same five dollars to a regular grocery store and buying uh, enough food that will last two or three days and you can still do that I'm sorry I just used the five dollars as an example but this is where a lot of us are in terms of our mindset our mentality we want everything cheap and I'm sure you've heard the old adage or cliche you get what you pay for so please understand that keep that in mind that you do indeed get what you pay for and you can't complain too much about what you receive when you haven't given that much in the first place. This is Brother Teacher. What is your thought on the dollar mentality? Everything needs to be cheap. Everything needs to be a dollar. And I'll talk about the free thing in a minute. You'll see me in the next video probably talking about why do you want everything free. This is Brother Teacher. What are your comments down below? So long.